I will choose the blood pressure, blood pressure plus ECG. Okay, so I can do the first reading like that. And let's see. Let's try it. So first I will put the cuff on my arm. First I'll put the cuff on my arm here and this should be pretty easy. I take this, it's already closed, it's already wrapped like that. And all I have to do is put my hand through it like this. And this should be like this one centimeter, just a bit, just a bit of space here, just a little bit of space. Okay, I hope I put it right. And straight, I usually don't put it straight here, that might be a problem, but I'll leave it like this. So that's how I have my hand. And let's check the machine now. So this is how I have it on my hand. This hose is just in front of the arm here and it's ready to go. So I make it a little bit tight, but the material is much better than the little one. The little one was really very cheaply made. These vertical bars here, they really help it to stay in place so it doesn't twist around. I'll try to straighten it, okay. So something like this, let's try. Okay, so the the hose is connected at the back, just checking to make sure it's still there. And uh, I have the cuff on my arm. And the phone is ready. I'll put the phone here like this, like that. Okay, so I select the device and I think I even don't need to start it from here, it will, it will start it. Okay, the instructions here, place the phone in the cradle, put the Bluetooth, <coughs> put the Bluetooth pressure cuff on, press start stop, put your thumbs on the top electrodes and the two more fingers on each of the side electrodes, don't move until the results show. For an accurate and consistent ECG recording, please make sure your fingers are moist when taking the reading. Well, that's important, should be, should wet your fingers a little bit. Okay, let's try. Moist fingers. Begin. Press start. Okay, maybe I have, wow, it's really a lot. It says tachycardia, so high blood pressure. Let's try again, I will sit in a more relaxed position. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. 
High blood pressure, okay, skip tutorial. I have to relax a bit. Normally I think I should wait a little bit before, but I don't think it's right. There's no way it's so high. The blood pressure 163 can't be so high. I don't know, something is wrong. And all this tachycardia. It's just a high high heart rate, so okay. I might have to wait for to do this another one. Okay. Blood blood pressure and ECG. Okay, start stop. Okay, it's a bit lower now, 147 with 102, I don't know, I'll wait a bit and continue this one, let's see, oh yeah, so this is how you use it, <laughs> I think it's mostly because I'm sitting here in a tensed position, but I'll have to see if everything is okay and probably I'll have to go to the doctor. Thanks for watching. Okay, I was able to I was able to get some kind of normal reading out of it. I guess it really it really doesn't help to make a video and record this at the same time. So I don't know, maybe I was a bit worried, maybe I was just in a tensed position. Probably I was in a... Maybe I was in a tensed position, but it shows 110 with 84, which should be okay. This is it's pretty normal. <laughs> And the uh, ECG is all over the place because I was moving my fingers and I didn't dry my, I didn't dry my fingers. So yeah, when you do this, make sure that. Okay, so now I got some kind of a normal reading. When you do this, make sure that, make sure that the fingers are dry. I guess so. It's working. We did a test reading, so we both did a reading. And for someone, when I was a bit, I was a bit, I was a bit tensed doing the video in an uncomfortable position. So you should really be really relaxed when doing this and have the fingers like this really moist. So, so this is because it's all over the place there. At least I got something normal out of it. So that's pretty good. All this information is stored in the app. 
Everything is stored in the app right here. So it doesn't look like it's too bad for me. <laughs> I don't know. I will do a few readings. I was starting to get worried about this. I'll do a few readings because the more I was trying to check it, the worse it was getting. So normally it's recommended to take a break between these readings and relax a bit and then do it. So I'll, I'll do another reading in 10 minutes. But but the thing is working as it should. The cuff is really more than enough space. It's really good. The size of the cuff is really good. So thumbs up from me for Omron. I bought this on Amazon and I'll put links in the description about where you can order this. They have this the Omron Complete and the Omron X7. I was really not sure between them which one is better. They both use the same app. But this one has the ECG reading, which is also a bit of all over the place. It's an extra detection feature, so it's a bit more expensive. This one, this is the most expensive blood pressure monitor. I didn't think it would be that much, but I thought, okay, it's expensive, but it's important to be healthy, so better to check well and hopefully I'm not gonna stress my doctor too much with this but yeah I'll do some more readings during the day and during the days thanks for watching any update I'll put it in the video description or in a pinned comment and you find the links on Amazon for this oh I press the start now okay thanks for watching after doing a few readings this is what I got this is what I got after doing a few readings. The ECG ECG reading is normal. Every time it's normal, but the blood pressure, this lower one here, it's usually high. It should be 80, but it's a bit higher. The top one, I got it down. I just have to relax when I do it. The more I relax before I... The more I relax before I do this, the, the lower it gets, so you really shouldn't panic if you have a high number here just calm down a little bit before before doing it don't do anything just for five minutes relax and then do the reading i don't know uh, there is this a display here 119 with 92 and yeah this is the reading okay this is the reading i have and the history i could Look at the history, so 94, 94, 96, then this was 127 with 96, and also 122, 94, so it keeps going up and down, I'm not really very careful, 134, 96, really going up and down, so I have to calm down before doing this, thanks for watching. Okay, I'll try it again. The same thing, blood pressure. I just have to relax when I do this. It's a bit hard with the camera. Huh? So it's all normal eventually. Nothing wrong with me. Okay, so start. One hundred thirty-four with ninety-six. Every time when I 
I get agitated moving, making the video, so I'll try to do this without recording. 